We begin by exploring the theory of special relativity. Imagine a spacecraft gliding silently through the vastness of space. Inside, a light clock ticks when a photon bounces between two mirrors that are separated by L distance, apart, to the astronaut aboard the ship. The photon moves vertically. The path is simple, straight, and rhythmic, but to an external observer watching the ship speed by, the scene unfolds differently. From the outside, the spaceship is moving horizontally as the photon is traveling. When the photon leaves the lower mirror it begins to rise, as the upper mirror is also moving sideways along with the ship. By the time the photon reaches the top, the mirror has shifted forward. The photon must therefore travel diagonally. The photon reflects off the top mirror and begins its journey back down. So just like the ascent, the descent is also diagonal, this time slanting downward and forward. In both cases, the photon moves along a longer path than it would inside the stationary frame of the ship. Despite these diagonal paths the speed of light remains constant in all frames of reference. This fundamental postulate of Einstein's special relativity leads to a striking conclusion. Since the photon travels a longer distance in the moving frame and its speed is unchanged, it must take more time to complete its journey. Thus the ticking of the light clock as seen from the stationary frame slows down. This is time dilation. Moving clocks tick more slowly than those at rest. The Earth observer sees a diagonal path while the man on the spaceship sees a vertical path. The diagonal path of the photon visible from outside the ship is not merely a geometric curiosity. It is a window into the fabric of space and time itself. The photon's longer slanted path shows how motion bends our intuitive sense of time and distance. Revealing the universe a far stranger and more beautiful than it first appeared. So it doesn't mean that the object traveling in near sea changes its dimensions. It's only how we see it. The passage of time relative to that moving object flows slower as seen by stationary observers.